Now, if you want to just let eight men, eight old men that don't know what they're talking about run your life, then just say that. And I'll let you be. But for me, I'm totally awake. <laughs> hey, it's Felice, totally awake. And I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. And thank you everyone so much for tuning in. So today, I wanted to share a comment that was left on my channel. This comment was very triggering because it was a lot like many other comments that was left before. It's that same tone that the Jehovah's Witnesses carry or, you know, those that was raised a Jehovah's Witness. Basically, Jehovah's Witness apologists, right? And, you know, I told y'all before, I'm petty, okay? So, if you leave me a comment, not so nice or interesting, like, you know, how I thought this one was when I when I seen it, I'm going to take a screenshot of it. So, don't go try to delete it, thinking it's going to be gone. I screenshotted it. She says, and I'll, I'll put it up on the screen here. I'm not a JW, but I grew up in the Kingdom Hall. I, too, was hurt by some of the people in it and left once I was 18. However, throughout the years, what I learned stuck with me, and the world has gotten crazier and crazier, and everything I learned makes much sense now that I'm 30. You don't even have to be a JW or Christian to see that this world is going down the drain more and more every day. You'd be foolish not to seek God. First of all, girl, you made the mistake of thinking JWs are perfect because they are this thing called human, which are far from perfect. So for you to think they will be perfect and make no mistakes is delusional and hilarious. Second, the Bible says that no one, not even the angels, knows the day or the hour. So yes, the JWs were wrong for thinking they knew, but you're even more wrong for believing they were right. Third, I have not even looked up why they don't celebrate birthdays. But for me personally, I never celebrated my birthday because to me, it's a reminder I'm one day closer to death. So why would I want to celebrate that? Fourth, Jehovah himself in the Bible said not to eat, consume blood. And when I Googled the risk of blood transfusions, it showed many, including death. Everything Jehovah tells us is for our own good, and we are not to lean on our own understanding because we won't understand then and there, and that's why we must meditate on the word and do our own research. Anywho, I am returning to Jehovah because I've been in the world and I've seen some things and realized that Jehovah's way is the only way. I will return to JW because they are the only ones teaching the truth about the Bible, Despite their actions, I follow Jehovah, not imperfect men. But when Satan's world is done with you, you're going to be running back to Jehovah. I just pray that it ain't too late for you. Cha, cha, cha. Okay. So, where do I start, y'all? Where do I start? Where do I start? <laughs> you know, it's the same tune. It's, it's just crazy. It's like... How does they're just so in sync like that? They carry the same old tune. Now, first things, what I do appreciate is that she came on. And, you know, I like how Lord Evans brought out on one of his videos that, you know, a lot of the JW apologists, they always try to say, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. But and nine times out of ten, okay, you are a Jehovah's Witness. You have some type of affiliation with a Jehovah's Witness. You were raised a Jehovah's Witness. Probably you were never baptized, Okay. And um, usually that what it, that, that's what it is. I do appreciate that she did admit that she was raised a Jehovah's Witness. So she said, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, but I grew up in the Kingdom Hall. And she said she was hurt. So you know how they be. You know how they be gossiping. I'm pretty sure your name was could have been slandered, like how my name was. I made a video about my name being slandered. Y'all go check that out if you haven't already. Okay. Um, who knows what happened to her, okay, growing up in this cult. Okay, um, and then they want to say the same thing. They they feel like the world's getting crazier and crazier, and there's there's no other where to turn but to Jehovah's organization. You don't even have to be Christian to see that the world is going down the drain more and more. She says you'd be foolish not to seek God first. 
Okay, she says that I, first of all, girl, you made the mistake of thinking JWs are perfect because they are, because they are this thing called human, which are far from perfect. So for you to think they will be perfect makes no sense and is delusional and hilarious. <laughs> What's hilarious? You're hilarious. You're hilarious. I laughed at you. Okay, I laughed at you because you 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 deleted your comment. I don't know if somewhere along the line you had an awakening um, before you thought that I would wake up and see your message, but I woke up in the middle of the night and seen it. Okay, and I also seen when I woke up later that you had deleted it. But I got you though. I got you. But um, hopefully you had some awakening before, um, and that's why you went ahead and deleted your comments. Okay, you're hilarious. Nobody's expecting Jehovah's Witnesses to be perfect. But we do expect Jehovah's Witnesses to be decent. You know, it's crazy how the Jehovah's Witnesses, when you point out the different flaws, they like to say, well, oh, well, they're not perfect. They're not perfect. They like to pull that card. You know, um, and then they like to say, well, you know, is, is the organization is perfect. But the men aren't perfect. The people in it aren't perfect. So they're going to make mistakes. And it's just like, yeah, they aren't perfect. The people running this organization here on earth aren't perfect. So the people running it aren't perfect. You have an imperfect organization with imperfect people running it. I'm sorry to say, but that makes the organization imperfect. Right? It's, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect organization. It's terribly flawed. Okay? Um, it's funny how you think it's hilarious and that I'm delusional for believing that they would be perfect when they said they were God's channel. They've always said they were God's channel from way back when. Okay? There's literature. There's talks. And even nowadays, recently, Gary Loesch was saying on a JW broadcasting that, you know, Jehovah gives them the spiritual food to Jesus, to the faithful slave, and he give it to the members. Today, Jehovah provides direction to the slave through Jesus. Jesus, in turn, provides direction for his people through the faithful and discreet slave. Okay, so they've always said that they were God's mouthpiece, that they were speaking for God. So, yeah, I do expect i do hold them to a certain standard yes definitely i don't expect them to have been in the scandals that i found them to be in i didn't expect them to be hurting uh children by allowing you know um criminals to run free in this organization because there's no second witness I didn't know anything about that, the two witness rule and how criminals go free when they've committed a crime against a child. I didn't know about that. You know, I I learned a whole lot. And no, I, I, I didn't expect them to be perfect, but I didn't think that they were doing things like that and hurting kids, you know, and paying out all this money and then not even telling the members about it, you know. The list goes on and on about all of the abuse and the scandals caused by this cult, all of the pain caused by this cult. Let's see, what else she say? Second, the Bible says that no one, not even the angels, knows the day or the hour. So, yes, the JWs were wrong for thinking they knew, but you were even more wrong in believing that they were right. So, yeah, that's the same thing what I was just saying. Why wouldn't I think that they're right when they say that they were speaking for God, that they were God's channel. Of course, I'm going to think that they're right. How am I wrong for thinking that they're right? If I was not thinking that they're right, I would have been an apostate then, <laughs> right? If I'm not going along with their teachings. Make it make sense. The math ain't math ain't. Okay, and you're talking about Third, I have not even looked up why they don't celebrate birthdays. But for me personally, I never celebrated my birthday because to me, it's a reminder I'm one day closer to death. So why would I want to celebrate that? And that sounds so silly. Like, wow. That was really funny to me. That was really, really funny. Um, 
understand. Me and my husband were laugh, was laughing at that. I, we, we didn't understand. Like, that's a depressing way to look at life. Like, I mean, it's like, why even wake up? Like, you don't even want to wake up then. Because, I mean, what are you going to be like? on your Like, my husband was bringing out on your second and fourth birthday. you like, oh, I don't want no cake because, you know... I'm one day closer to death, so I don't, I don't want it. But when really, in actuality, you was never um, offered no cake by your parents anyway because we already know how they roll. You don't get no birthday cake, you don't get no toys, or nothing like that on your birthday. Uh, because Jehovah doesn't like it? Yes, but why? Do you like presents and treats? Yes! But do you want them like this? Birthday celebrations mix good things with things Jehovah doesn't like. How? So it's sad that you've had to make yourself feel this depressing way about your birthday, that you're closer to death. Of course, we, we're closer to death every day we wake up. That's not the way to view life, though. You, you've been here for another year, so it's something to be happy about. It's something to celebrate. I'd say. <laughs> yeah, don't even get me started about blood. Fourth, Jehovah himself in the Bible said not to eat, consume blood. And when you Google, oh, you Google and stuff, make sure you Google your religion, okay? Google them. <laughs> Google them. Google them. Okay? Um, everything. Yeah, my daughter, like I talk about all the time, could have died. You know, she was born dead had she not received several blood transfusions. And that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why I'm so passionate about this. It really did help to wake me up. So we're not even gonna talk about that. That scripture is misinterpreted by the Jehovah's Witnesses. Do your research and, you know, use your common sense. Everything Jehovah tells us is for our own good, not to lean on our own understanding because we don't understand then. And there, and that's why you must meditate on the word and do your own research. Yes, please do your own research. But you're not allowed to do that, though. All you're allowed to do is go to JW.org. But you won't hear, so bravo. I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate you going ahead and um, checking out other sources besides JW.org. It'll really help you. Because they want to keep you in a box, definitely. And then you say, anywho, I'm returning to Jehovah because I've been in the world and I've seen some things. And I've realized that Jehovah's way is the only way. You're returning to JW.org. I will return to JW. Now she says it. Because they are the only ones teaching the truth about the Bible, despite their actions. Despite their actions. Hmm. Actions speak louder than words, honey. I follow Jehovah, not imperfect men. But when Satan's world is done with you, you're going to be running back to Jehovah. I just pray that it ain't too late for you. Gotcha. You know, I wanted to give a better, you know, rebuttal to you, but I'm kind of sleepy. But um, I mainly just wanted my viewers to hear, you know, just what kind of um, rhetoric people so indoctrinated come and And leaving my channel and she left this on that video i left the jehovah's witnesses and i'm never going back i feel bad for you if you're about to go log in to jw zoom meetings i feel like the end is right around the corner again like come on you know it's nonsense wake up you're you're it's, you it's a great start right now you're looking at videos keep it up you know <laughs> keep it up okay it's plenty Plenty of videos to look at and help you realize that you were raised in the cult. Okay, sweetheart. And um, it's time to wake up. Don't let fear, you know, drag you back in. Now, if you want to just let eight men, eight old men, that don't know what they're talking about, 
run your life, then just say that. And I'll let you be. But for me, I'm totally awake. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was a good one, right? <laughs> Girl. All right. You know what? When this was fresh in my head, I actually had a lot more to say about this. But now I'm kind of just sharing because my thoughts are not as popping. But um, anyway, just let me know what y'all think about it down below. And let me know if you like this kind of this, this kind of video and I'll do more. Okay? Because I do get some more comments that I could talk about a bunch more. Especially for my first video, like I said. Because it's like over 3,000 comments. So I, I screenshotted a bunch of them. <laughs> okay? All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe. And like I said, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And I'll talk to y'all later. All right.